Good afternoon and welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful summer. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the changes that were made this summer during Curriculum Review Week to the Civics and Economics course. There are two places where you can access the new curriculum. One is at the Cabarrus County Schools website. Please make sure that this says My Account. If it says Sign In, you need to sign in or you won't be able to see it. Go to Departments, Curriculum and Instruction, K-12 Curriculum, Teacher Curriculum Resources, High School, and then Civics and Economics is here. Notice that there are now only eight units instead of nine. Um, one of the things that we had talked about and that we noticed was that the um, personal financial literacy and economics portion of the NCFE was anywhere from 49 to 52 percent of the test and yet our curriculum didn't reflect that. So they've made some changes where now the curriculum um, is about 40 percent of the semester is going to be focused on personal financial literacy and economics. So one of the biggest changes that was made is that your former Unit 6, which was state and local governments, has been consolidated into Unit 4, which is federalism in the branches of government, and your standards and essential questions from Unit 6 were added to align within Unit 4. So we combined Unit 4 and 6 to more accurately reflect the requirements in the course from DPI, um, and then those economic elements over here now have 33 days for instruction, which again is approximately 40% of the semester. That means that after we shifted Unit 6 to Unit 4, Unit 6 is now Personal Financial Literacy, Unit 7 is now Microeconomics, and Unit 8 is now um, Macroeconomics. Some of the unit names also changed, um, but the same integrity of the standards remains, and the objectives and resources for the course um, have also remained. So there were a few minor edits to some essential questions and, and things like that, but in a minute I'm going to show you where you can provide feedback on this. So if you don't like it or you have questions about it, that's a great place to do it. Um, the other place where you can access the curriculum is here on our Canvas course. You'll, if you're not already enrolled, you'll cut and paste this, put it in a new window in your browser, and it'll bring you here. You'll go to High School, Social Studies, Civics and Economics. So here again, you can access your year-long map. This is the new unit feedback form for the school year. So after you've taught every unit, if you'll go in and you'll fill this out for us, then we can continue to improve and revise our curriculum. Um, one of the things I just noticed is missing is the teacher share folder, which I'm going to fix as soon as I get done making this video, but I'm going to show you it on something else. It should be right here below your table and above this. So let's go back and let me show you where one is. Um, so that you know what I'm talking about. So in biology, and what you'll see in, in yours um, in about five minutes, is a teacher share area. If you go to the teacher share folder, this is where you can drop in any resources you have that you want to share. So you could drop in tests, you could drop in projects, you could drop in performance tasks. You would just click on this link and it's going to bring you to a link that says Civics and Economics, Google Drive. It'll have all your units here. You would just pick a unit, drop the resource in, make sure you name it something that everybody would recognize what it is, and then all the other teachers in the district would have access to that as well. If at any point in time you have questions um, for me, a link doesn't work, something seems wonky, you can email me here or call me. My contact information is here on Canvas, and then it's also here on the front page of Curriculum and Instruction. I hope you have a wonderful school year. Thank you, and um, good luck.